Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker, uh, Scott Kirshner, and Chaz Price this week. 419-794-3030 is the phone number. That's 419-794-3030. Online, americasretirementheadquarters.com or arhq.com. Now, retirement is supposed to be a point in your life to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And for most people who have a solid plan in place, uh, you know, to have a relaxing retirement, but sometimes life happens. So let's talk about this, you know, what people could expect. And when you're helping clients build out a retirement plan, what kind of problems might they encounter? Well, I'd say, you know, one of the times I think when people come to the office and they're working on developing what their retirement plan is, it's kind of a new phase in life. So they, they know they build up a 401k, have a nest egg set aside and, you know, they, they don't really have kind of a plan in place that is able to figure out how do you build a strategy that's designed to help them achieve peace of mind, good confidence to be able to get to and through retirement time. And, you know, we've trademarked that process. It's called the independent income system. In fact, uh, for those of you who've been listening, maybe if this is the first time or, you know, been listening for the past 20 years, like what we've been on radio here, look up the independent income system just type independent income system on Google, and we have a video that walks through that. What oftentimes I will hear people say is, look, Nolan, that's the first time I actually really understand what the purpose of each of my financial accounts are designed to do. Then to me, the question becomes, well, what could blow that up? And when we look at it and we look at the things that could blow it up, you know, and you think about what are some problems retired people might face, To me, I would say first and foremost, one of them would be uh, some of the interruptions that can take place, things like unexpected events, uh, unforeseen circumstances, uh, unexpected conflicts. You know, a a good example of that is you could talk about a sudden job loss, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a death in the family, a medical emergency, you know, natural disasters, maybe your life changes, uh, could be relationship issues. You know, when you're helping clients build out the retirement plan, I think One of the top things that jumps out to me, uh, Scott, is the issue of the unexpected or unplanned for a healthcare crisis uh, for themselves or a spouse. Absolutely. I actually, um, about uh, three or four weeks ago, I actually had a client call up. Um, uh, She is retired and has been retired now for a little over a year and uh, moving through retirement without a whole lot of problems. We, during the annual enrollment period, we uh, got together. I gave her some ideas on some changes she might want to make. She was comfortable with where she's at. And um, uh, I get a call a a couple of weeks ago, actually, and she had a stroke. And um, the unfortunate thing is the medication that she now is on as a result of that stroke is like 500 bucks a month. And the prescription drug plan that she agreed to stay on is not covering that drug. You know, you're looking at roughly $6,000 that she was not planning for during this retirement period that she's in. Uh, so, you know, you're actually absolutely right, Nolan. One of the things that really can blow up uh, uh, your plans moving through retirement is that unexpected health out-of-pocket expense. One of the things that I think is most common is situations like that. If we make sure that we get you the proper health plan, whether it be a a supplemental plan or an advantage plan, you can kind of prepare and plan and know moving forward from the date we write the policy moving forward what your out-of-pocket expenses are. But what you can't plan for is that catastrophic health crisis that causes your prescription drug plan to really get blown up. That's what I see most of the time is an unexpected drug that you're uh, now put on. Um, So, yeah, you know, you have to make sure that you have the right plan in place. Well, you know, if I looked at the numbers, we talked earlier on a show talking about how to get ready to retire right now instead of waiting later. And if you missed that segment, of course, all of our segments are available on our YouTube channel. Uh, If you go over to YouTube, just type in America's Retirement Headquarters. You can watch that show or any one of our past shows. Uh, Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe like uh, any one of our uh, thousands of other subscribers. But when I look at the reasons why people end up retiring earlier, uh, I think the number is staggering. It's like 40%, I believe, is what I read, that end up retiring earlier than they planned on because they suffered some type of illness or disability that forced them into earlier retirement. 
Now, you take that a step further, I can think of a client situation where they ended up retiring because the husband had health issues. Exactly. And unfortunately, uh, the wife, she lost her husband. He passed away. Uh, we're on radio, so i got to be careful what I can say. But, you know, four-letter word to cancer because, you know, mm-hmm. cancer is such a disastrous thing. Mm-hmm. It's impacted me, many of our clients. But, you know, it can wipe things out in a hurry. And so the other thing that you, you've got to think about – is what do you do about replacing the income if you experience a death of a, a spouse? Sure. You also have to think about, you know, in the event that we're later in life, and we're like your mom and dad situation, mm-hmm. you know, where you have two peas in a pod and then you lose one of them, how do you keep that surviving spouse still actively engaged in the community, getting out there and doing things? Now, talk about compounding the problem in the situation that I was talking about where the lady who lost her husband, you know, due to uh, passing away from cancer, it also happened right after the recent market downturn. So now we've got inflation up, loss of income through a spouse, and then you compound that, the market tank. Uh, that's another challenge as well to take a look at. When you're looking at those type of scenarios and you're looking at those problems that are facing retirees, I know Chaz is a certified financial planner, also serving on the investment committee side. What are the type of tips that you're giving when you're looking at these type of problems and, and trying to get you know, the unexpected checked off the list or some of those unforeseen events uh, taken care of for clients? Yeah. The, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, just what you said, is that oftentimes uh, when one, one calamity occurs, there's generally something else that goes along with it. So oftentimes we do have to make some adjustments to the plan and, and stress the plan for multiple uh, events. And so part of our job as financial planners, in, in my opinion, is that um, yes, there are a number of issues and risks that retirees face from longevity, which is outliving your money, inflation, healthcare issues, but not every person is the same. And so each person is probably susceptible to different types of risks. And so it's our job to help assess and determine which pitfalls you really need to pay attention to and, and to avoid and which ones maybe we could put a little bit less focus on. But Getting back to one that I think affects most everybody is uh, what you refer to, Nolan, which is the sequence of return risk. And sequence of return risk is basically the phenomenon that describes how the timing and the order of the returns that you get early in retirement can really have an impact on the longevity of your money. And so uh, taking an example of 2008, let's say you decided to retire in 2007, 2008, everybody remembers the Great Recession. Market was down top to bottom, probably close to 40%. So if you started, you know, taking, um, you know, money out of an account where the shares that you owned were worth, let's say, you know, $10 a share, and then uh, considering the market's downturn, basically eroded the value of those shares down to about $4 a share. Uh, if you needed to take income from that portfolio, you'd obviously have to sh- sell more of your shares, which would eat the portfolio up a little quicker versus if you could wait three years or so and maybe not take from those accounts that it, that had suffered losses, uh, 2011, you know, the market had rebounded then and maybe your value of the shares would be worth around $20. So, so the example, and, and I guess the, the key there is flexibility, you know, and that's where the independent income system really comes into play is that obviously we can't control the market, but we can have a plan for it. It's what it all comes back down to. What we say so often here on the show, uh, you know, and at America's Retirement Headquarters is control what you can control. The market, not something we can control. You know, uh, the likelihood of an illness or, you know, natural disasters, all these different factors that could really throw your retirement in flux. We can't control if and when those happen. We certainly hope that they don't, but it is better to prepare for it. You know, calling back to the Boy Scouts, what's the, the motto? Be prepared. And so developing a strategy to know that, you know, these things could happen. Uh, and, and what do we do if, if that does happen? When the market does, uh, you know, see its ups and downs, how do we poise to respond to that? If there are things like long-term care that we may face down the line, do we have a plan put in place? It all comes down to having that comprehensive retirement strategy 
And that is what the team at America's Retirement Headquarters does. And so if you have questions or, you know, doubts about what may come down the line and, and you want to make sure all your your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted, pick up the phone and give a call, 419-794-3030. Or you can go online, uh, make that appointment on the website as well, arhq.com. And then while you're there, go and check out the events tab and find, you know, one of the events that, that's coming up uh, later this year and one that works for you and your schedule. And go ahead and reserve your seat as well. That is at arhq.com.